Well, this works. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. This is my first time doing a podcast. Uh, uh, how, how am I doing, guys? Am I doing good? Okay, we got the call going here. Um, and what we for? Yo, hello. Hello, Dugong. Hey, how are you doing today? Was that an answer? What? Was that an answer? Yeah. I'm alright. Oh, you said alright. I thought yeah, I thought you trailed off. Well, that's cool. I'm alright as well. Um, I like to. I like to take the moment to uh, uh, but thank you for coming on the cho- show and and yeah, taking sure. the time out of your busy schedule to um, yeah. I mean not for me either but you know we'd like to maintain the illusion I don't know if you I don't know if you like to maintain maintain any illusions but I do yeah for sure yeah so we've got I have uh, yeah, I, the idea was I was just gonna wing it, you know? Yeah. yeah. But we've, we got, uh, we got some, uh, yeah. I got some plans for us today, some We've got to start start off. We're heading into the gaming corner, is what it's called. A gaming corner. It's the first segment of our show, in which we, we which we we discuss. Just you know, games, I guess. So th- we've got the first question here: Is what is there a game you're currently playing right now that you're that you're enjoying? And that you would like to talk about? Uh, I don't know. I'm still doing the NES challenge, kind of. So I got like, I got one more like horrible baseball game, which is Roger Clemens. MVP baseball. I got to play like 33 games, I think. All right, you're doing I'm like the. Doing a, um, you're doing I'm like the NES Mania, a, right, or something similar, right? Yeah, I have like less than like 125 games left. Yeah. So. Taking a while still. Yeah, when you get to the sports games, do you do you actually literally play through the sport game, and how? Well, the the bases loaded were the worst, but I got through all of them, because it's like you have to play like seventy to eighty games. Yeah. And you like for for bases loaded one was the easiest because there's actually a reliable way to um, always get like a no hitter with your pitchers. Hmm. And then within like two and four, it's like there wasn't really like a reliable way. Like there was still like a degree of error, so it's kind of like frustrating, like playing knowing that like you could like lose the game still. Yeah, I feel yeah. But I haven't really figured out a strategy for Roger Clemens. I just started it today. Yeah. Yeah, most most sports games aren't that like horribly long. They don't make you play like such just insane amount of games. Yeah, I guess cuz I was mostly just thinking cuz there are bu- there are a bunch of multiplayer only sports games. Um All right. Uh, I've I've never been a fan of sports games to to begin with, but yeah. when you go back to a, the eight bit era, it starts get getting so abstract that even for someone who's yeah. sports illiterate, it turns into a goddamn nightmare, and, and that's just the the kind of thing. Like what what is what is so far the worst genre of games? You'd have to play through this this Nest Mania thing you're doing right now. 
I don't really have a name for it. But, uh, I don't, yeah, I mean, probably the baseball ones just because it's, like, boredom. It's, like, I had to, like, um, for the last one, I, I did it offline because I was just watching, um, I was just watching, like, a marathon of episodes of Jeopardy while yeah. I was playing because it was, like, the only way to entertain myself enough to get through them. Yeah, I feel you. And you guys still have, I mean, Jeopardy. We have, we, in, in Sweden, we have sort of a, a, be, a better version of Jeopardy. I mean, it's not really better. It's just, oh, really? it's just, you know, the one thing I don't like about Jeopardy is the gimmick behind it. You know, though, yeah. what, uh, yeah, you have to, arbitrary. yeah, I feel like there are so many moments in which a person gets, um, eliminated despite them answering the question correctly. And... Just because they phrased it incorrectly, you know, they broke the rules of the game, but they were still they still got the right answer, and yeah. that I don't know. That's the only thing I don't like about Jeopardy, really. Mm. Other than that, it's a good show. But yeah, are you? you how many games did you have left? Did you say? I will have to look it up. Spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. 122. Yeah, 122. Jesus. How yeah. many games does that make it? Like, what, 500 or so? So far? Oh, uh, no, it's like, um, well, it includes, uh, the, there's Euro a few European-only releases. Yeah. So it's, um, let me see, what is it? <laughs> like... The Lion King, seven, for example. I have, I, have, I have 714 on here. But so far, it's been a shit ton, though. That's that's kind of the point that I'm trying to make. Yes. You know, if this was literally anything but video games, this would be one of the most impressive things I've ever heard of, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like reading books or something? I mean, if you were gonna read every fucking book in the world, I mean, sure. Who wouldn't yeah. be impressed by that? I would also be, like, slightly depressed by it, you know how... Like, you know, I saw this article about this dude who collected newspapers or something and he had like oh. every single newspaper from like 30 years back and i was just wondering how, how the fuck can you enjoy collecting that because i still i still understand collecting i mean i i mean i play magic you do too so obviously we both understand collecting on some level but where's the where's the hobby in that? Where's the passion? You know. Yeah, it's just like addiction, like obsession. At that point. I I guess I guess that's what I I, I don't know. Maybe he like just realized he had like ten years of newspapers in a row already, and he was like, "Well, I can collect this. Why not?" Right? At this point, you just, uh, yeah. just keep going. Well, moving on to the next segment. Speed plans. Do you have any... Have any speed plans on the horizon? Uh, I mean, yeah, I've been, like... I've been just finding stuff on speedrun.com that only has has only been run by like one other person. Oh, seeing which one, seeing which ones are yo, easy to snipe. Yo, I need to fucking do that because for the past like I don't know, man, month, two months or so. I mean, I haven't done a speedrun since like the summer, and I realize yeah. it's not because I'm sick of speedrunning. It's just that I don't know what I want to speedrun. But what I do is I, I go on speedrun.com, you can say you can sort by player count and then like ascending. 
Yeah. And I'll show like every game with only one person running it. And you can find stuff like that's like totally unoptimized. Yeah. A lot of which is mine, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. But. Yeah, I have. Um, I was going to do. There's this uh, point and click adventure for PlayStation 1 called Blazing Dragons that. Um, hmm. Uh, there is one run of it, but it's really unoptimized. There's like a lot, some a lot of errors in it. I did like a playthrough of it, but like, I wanna, I'm gonna order a USB PlayStation controller and I'm gonna do a run of it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, personally, yeah, probably figured out. I don't have much in the way of speed plans right now. Or I do, I do, I guess I do have some speed plans. Not really plans, just a, um, what do you call it, like a manifesto. Not really, but we can treat it as that. I, I've decided that dinosaurs need more representation in speedrunning. Because, I, I mean... I I mean I was I wasn't going to go into like all I wasn't going to go all political and shit but I I'm really sick of the overrepresentation of dragons. I don't give a shit about dragons. Oh, I see. Yeah, the, it, dragons are just boring dinosaurs. And I don't know, man. It's, it might be a touchy subject for you. I know it is for some. I don't know what your relationship to dragons is, but I feel uh, they take pretty. focus away from dinosaurs. Do, I see. Yeah, do you, do you have anything to say about that? Sorry for putting you in the hot uh, seat. I can think you know. of some dinosaur games. Oh, uh, really? I mean, well, excluding I Trespasser. Obviously. I thought I, I grew up with uh, Jurassic Park for Genesis, where it's like you can either play as Grant or the Raptor. Oh, right. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's... Even though, I guess, looking back, the Raptor is kind of like... You have to like do some really precise jumps and stuff through his levels. Yeah, oh, have, oh, have you seen that. the task of that? It's it's uh, pretty funny. I yeah, maybe. Because what it is... It, we're talking about the Raptor run now. Uh, cause the guy just, okay, so it's faster to just jump forward rather than running. Yeah. But when you jump forward, the camera doesn't really follow you that well. Oh, yeah. So he jumps out of frame in the first uh -huh. two, three seconds or so, and then you never see him again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's... It's like some Sonic tasks are like that, too. Yeah. It's a, it's fun to watch for the first second, but once you realize that you're not go, you're not actually going to be seeing any yeah. <laughs> anything. Uh, Some of the Sonic tasks that do that, they actually like they do like a uh, emulator hack where like they edit it so that it follows the camera centers on the character. Oh, that's so you cool. You can actually watch them. See, that's the thing, that's the, that's what makes me wish that I wasn't such a fucking hipster about everything. Because every, every speedrunning community, or sub-community, or whatever you want to call it, that's a really popular game, they have these, like, a shit ton of tricks and, like, programs and shit. I mean, load removers for, like, source games. Oh, Most yeah. people don't even realize what the, the fucking luxury of just having that. And I noticed even some people see it as, like, the norm. Like, I go... If someone's talking about, like, oh, well, PC speedrunning sucks because of loading times. And, I mean, that's true, right? That's the... That's what I hate about... PC speedrunning, even though I'm primarily a PC speedrunner, I hate the fact that you have to take load load times into account. 
Um, but then every single time someone's just like, well, they just use programs to remove the loads. And I'm like, who is they? Wait, no, that, was the, that wasn't the point. Um, or maybe it was. Yeah. You know, because someone has to make that, pro that program first. It's not like yeah. the Source games just automatically came with a ability to remove loads. That's ludicrous. That's not how it works. I feel like a lot of... I, I, I feel like even, even though... I, I mean, I, I'm a fucking new kid when it comes to speedrunning, really. Despite that, I feel like the newest generation of speedrunners or whatever, they're kind of spoiled in a, in a weird way. Just when it comes to software and having those things available to you. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, you could just start a fucking timer and play through a game, record it on your VHS tape, send it to... What's she called? Jennifer She-Hulk, you know. Wait, who? She-Hulk. Uh, whatever, it's a Mike Uyama joke. You, you send it to... to... Th those... I don't even remember their names anymore. Speed Demos Archive. That's what they're oh, called. I did. Yeah. Well, the first one <laughs> I did was in like 2004 and I sent it to Twin Galaxies. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, Twin Galaxies. Well, that was when that's... They, had a, they had like these speedrun bounties. Yeah. And I sent one in for Blaster Master for like, it was something like, I can't remember how much it was. It was somewhere between like 20 and $50. And I never got it. Of course you didn't get it. It's fucking Twin Galaxies. Of course, galaxies. like, it's Twin Galaxies. They have all these, like, really <laughs> specific rules. Like, they, like, you can't use any glitches, and, like, you can't you can't pause or game over. Yeah. So I basically couldn't use any of, like, the actual speedrun strats. Oh, right, because, uh, the... Doesn't that abuse game overs? Yeah, you do a lot of death glitches, and then you also yeah. do, you know, do the pausing when you go be trans screen transitions, and you pause to do the grenade glitch on the bosses yeah well i i never really understood that as or as soon as i got into speedrunning i never understood the whole stigma against glitching especially i mean i mean i do sort of understand it coming from the high score run culture or whatever you're supposed to call it because i don't i i think there's there's a there's a definite gray area maybe even a black area when it comes to using glitches in high school runs it feels less i don't know what it is maybe it's because in high score runs you're trying to be the best at the game in the way that the game wanted you to be the best you know? Because most games don't keep track of the time you've spent playing it. So that's sort of a, a goal that you set for yourself. But when you're playing a high score, uh, that's programmed into the game itself. Uh, I should probably not speak up as much about, you know, High score runs because I don't know jack shit about it. Yeah. I don't know. Someone was doing one for Mega Man. It was they were trying to beat the one that was on the best high score that was on Twin Galaxies, and the rules were like no excessive point farming. And it's like, what are they? Like, what? What's the definition of excessive point? Farming? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's arbitrary. Yeah, that's that's totally subjective. It's just, yeah. If you have to put a, put like a qualifier on your rules, they're not really rules. It's just like this is we just put here this here so I can ban someone for no reason, basically. Yeah. Because or that's what it. 
in practice, that's what it would end up being. Maybe if they said if they put like a time limit on how long you can spend on a single screen. Yeah. Like, it, like something that's objective, like that isn't up to like human determination. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Still, even with that kind of rule, there'd be. I mean, cause the. You gotta make sure that everyone does their best, right? That you. Cause that's what. I mean, cause you're 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 talking in absolutes, when you're high score, doing high scores and speed running. And when you want to get to a certain... Because what you want to do is get to a certain number, more or less. Yeah. And you can't just put, like, honorable restrictions on, on that or whatever. Like, it's not like you're sparring a person and it's supposed to be... You know, I don't know, maybe boxing between two people. Don't punch him in the dick, right? That's that's against the rules. I mean, it helps you win. If it, a real fight, if you punch someone in the dick, you're gonna win that fight probably, unless he's got like a cup on him. But even then, it's gonna hurt. So, in those cases, there, I think that people are too obsessed with, or they make way too many similes with with competitive sports when it comes to speed running and high score runs because it's not it's not even close you mean like they compare complain about glitches yeah for example or just in not it's not always glitches i found that it's i think the whole glitch the idea of being against glitching in in video games comes from some sort of <laughs> in in essence it's anti-intellectualism but <laughs> in a really specific and petty way because essentially what is happening is you're seeing something that another person can do that you cannot you can learn to do it if you want to but instead you choose to dismiss it as cheating And there's no, there's no real um, logic or common thread in what is considered cheating by these glitches are cheating. Because if you have at all paid attention to Dark Souls speedrunning, which you should not... Um, yeah, I don't get it. No, it's not, it, Dark Souls 2 is a decent speedrun because it has actual speed tech. So that one's pretty okay. The first one is basically just like play the game, but in a way that makes it unenjoyable. It's that's not the point though. My point is, I've seen people claim the most absurd things being glitches, like clearly intended mechanics in the game. They call glitches. Uh, the most absurd one is probably people calling different positionings on boss fights glitches oh just like safe spots and like instant yeah and stuff. uh cuz yeah. there's this this is boss called Capra Demon. he's a he's a bitch that you can stomp super easily but he has two dogs with him that are they just, they stomp you, unless you manage to get out of the way. But there's, uh, there, you can take some stairs up and stand on, like, a weird balcony in which he cannot get up to. And this has nothing to do with speedrunning, because this is a, this is a, um, this is an extremely slow tactic, but it's relevant because I've seen people... <laughs> on Dark Souls threads on V claim that walking up to the balcony so that he cannot hit you 
and then taking out the dogs one by one is gl a glitch. And the only the only explanation for that is that this person saw that someone uh, someone was smarter than him. Really, I mean, he figured this shit out, and this dude couldn't. So he probably spent like two three hours getting fucked by that boss. And so naturally, his I mean, because it's a defense mechanism, and I understand it. You don't want to feel like a scrub, right? Yeah. But when, when when you spend forever on a boss that took some dude one try because he figured out that you could do some cheesy bullshit, um, you feel like shit. You feel like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Or at least if you're... Uh, if your gamer ego is that frail or whatever. Even, even still, even if you're a paragon of of self-confidence you're still gonna feel like oh shit I'm a I'm a I'm a moron for not figuring out that shit but I guess we can move on to the to the next segment of our show which is this month in memes which is this is my this is my this is I've been looking forward to this segment for a while because I want to I want to discuss what's what's uh, what are some good memes that you enjoyed recently some recent memes you know uh, there's the one that got big which is like the the brain activity chart you know that oh thing? yeah that one's good that yeah, one's good that's, that's, that's like a that's like originally a V thing that got popular. Or like maybe like a pole thing. I'm not entirely sure about the origin. It's a, it's a it's a weird one because it seems to originate from several different spots of the internet. Because yeah. from what I gather, the the original, the start of the meme, and which it would soon mutate into the form that it is today. The original was making fun of people who say whom when they really mean who by adding oh, yeah. like whomst or whomstdv yeah. and shit like that. For, yeah. That's that's my understanding of how it how it started was like there's a tiny brain and that's who a bigger brain whom even bigger brain, whom's and then just fucking ascended into God status, one with the universe, and it's like a, it has six apostrophes and it's like twenty letters long, just whom's the with y'all yaint y'all and that's I'm pretty sure that's where it, that's where it started. And then it then it morphed into the weird form that it is today. But I, it, it's a good meme. I feel like it's starting to run its course, though. Yeah. Nothing lasts forever. No. But I feel like it's it has a healthy healthy sort of downward slope right now because I haven't seen it all day and I don't think I saw it yesterday and I feel like it's like dying in an appropriate time yeah exactly I, I, it's not overstaying it's welcome and I I like that because basically ev I cannot name a single meme in the latest like year or year or two that has that hasn't overstayed its welcome that hasn't become a fucking piece of shit i mean people are still talking about harambe oh yeah i mean that was what like six months ago or something that was, that was like almost a year ago i think shit maybe it was that's 
early last year. It's like it's, it's ba- it is already looped around to being ironically funny, to being ironically unfunny again, to being like just fucking. It's over. Stop, stop doing it. Unless you're gonna combine it with m- my name Jeff or whatever that shit is for like ultimate irony points. Don't don't even try. That's a meme I do not get, however. I don't even know what that is. It's like, I, I think it's from a movie. It's like from 22 Jump Street. Oh. With, with uh, what is it called? Channing Tatum. Yeah. Yeah. It's like from a scene there. It's, he just says, my, my name's Jeff in a weird voice. And normies thought that was just the funniest thing in the world. It's pretty pretty fucking painful. R- really. Yeah, I don't get it. No, it's one of those like you see it reposted on like Facebook or something with like ten watermarks. And <laughs> I don't know, it's the kind of memes that your aunt shares. I mean, I guess my aunt only shares memes about her dogs. But, still. Yeah, I don't, I haven't used Facebook in a really long time. I, yeah. I, the only reason I really use it is because I've started to enjoy these shitty Facebook memes in like uh, I, in some sort of ironic way. It's not really ironic anymore. It started ironic, but now I look like at a minion with a weird with a just generic quote attributed to it, and I just fucking laugh my ass off. I can't help it. I think my brain has finally started to cave so yeah do you you have any other good memes you're enjoying right now I don't know how how about the fucking alien meme what did I try to invent one should you try to invent one like I just I find some like Sometimes you find, like, some really specific, like, thing that there's, like, tons of stock photo images of for some reason. Yeah. Like, the, like, like there's those people who found, like, there's, like, women laughing while eating salad. <laughs> yeah. With, like, thousands of it on, you can find thousands of pictures of it for some reason. Yeah. It's like, you just, like, enter random terms in Google image search until you find, like, some really weirdly specific like combination of things that there's like a really statistically unusual amount of and then you can force that into a meme yeah yeah no i feel you i i think the only (laughs) the only bad thing or like the only detriment to that sort of meme is the pro like it's already kind of been done or whatever because you know these uh, women laughing with salads and then there's also cyber if you just google cyber stock photo it's just oh yeah it's it's just bizarre as shit all the time like someone it's like someone holding uh corn on the cob yeah in a silver outfit with a weird weird silver shades on too it's just Mm -hmm. cyber corn I guess there's no reason (laughs) shrimp dude but there's also this one this one this one Okay, so if you Google search virtual reality, 
basically, <laughs> like, m most pictures there, they, they don't have the virtual reality gear, or even, they're not even pretending. What they're doing is they're putting on a headset mm -hmm. and, and wearing it the wrong way. Like, like, uh, what's it called? Like, Jordy from uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, uh, and it's bizarre, like, you can Google it right now, let me see if I can, stock photo, virtual reality. Dude, what the fuck? Uh, what? this, this meme does not check out. They've... Okay, so the Oculus Rift has officially, like, ruined virtual reality stock photo. Oh, they're not showing up anymore? No, I can only find... This is one picture of this dude with... Who, who's wearing headphones the wrong way. Mm -hmm. The rest of it's just virtual oh, reality okay. at this oh, point. Oh, okay, I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... Is that a cat? But, yeah, okay, I guess the, the, that's kind of eerie. I mean, that's a meme that's lost to the times. Oh, no. Pe people, like, two years from now aren't going to have a night. People watching this 2,000 years from now, and let's not o o undersell ourselves here. People will. But they will not understand what we're talking about right now. They will be like, "What? This isn't a thing. They just—they're making this up." Did the memes ever give you existential anxiety like that? Um. Uh, I don't know. Like there are memes I remember from. 4chan, but like be back in 2007 and 8, shit like that. Yeah. That just fucking don't exist anymore on the internet. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't remember some of that. Like, I remember this one shit with like, are you Rex enough for tech support? That one's kind of, there's like one person who's I ever. I quite remember that. It's, uh, it was just based off of one of these stupid-ass raids they, they used to do ba uh, back before it got political and weird and it turned into a social movement. What they did is they went to some sort of tech support chat and just tried uh, to, you know, fuck, fuck with them. And one of the dudes was called Rex. Uh -huh. And it just became a meme, like, are you Rex enough for tech support? And for some reason, that, that shit is burned into my brain. And I feel like I am... Like, I'm alone on this earth with remembering that. I don't know. I mean, I remember, like, old, old, uh, the Flash board. I remember, mm -hmm. like, seeing flashes, like... I don't know. Was it, like, ten years ago? Is it that old? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, these flashes, and I've yeah. actually like tried to find them again, and I can't. No, it's fucking impossible. I mean, shit. Now that you mention it, it's been fucking. I just I remember this one that was like, it was like this Asian song, and it had like these like creepy looking guys in like green beam costumes dancing to it. It was like this flash animation. What do you mean, green green bean? Like they costume. were like they had like bodies that were like beans, then they had like creepy human heads sticking out of them, and they were dancing to an Asian song. I cannot I movie. cannot imagine that because okay, so there's this, <laughs> there's this, uh, really f famous sweet. I mean, it's famous in Sweden. Uh, this sketch show called Nila City where there's a segment of these two 
Kor- they're called Korean adoptive uh, parents, uh, and they're wearing pair costumes. Because here's the thing: pair is slang for parents in Swedish. Because oh. pa- pair, yeah. So, ex- yeah. So Korean adoptive pairs dancing to uh, take a walk on the wild side, except for the, they're singing it like "Take a walk on the washa," and that's the only shit I can can visualize right now. Hmm. So I I don't know, man. I I cannot help you with that. Maybe someone will figure it out. Yeah. Like I don't even know what I don't even like know what to search for to find to find that. It's like <laughs> no, that's the thing. That's like it's uh, it, there's so many. I mean, you remember those back in like Newgrounds misheard lyric songs. Oh well, yeah. There's. There's animutations. Yeah, exactly. Animutations. Like, that's what they're called. Yeah, there was the ones like that was what uh, Neil Susierga. Yeah. He make. Yeah. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are great. A bunch of those. Uh, but the thing about those, those, th- th- that that had a name. Yeah. Right. It, it had a term, so people yeah. remember it to this day, because. There's no animata- animations. What what else is called that? Nothing. Yeah. So, it's easy to find. But then you got those weird specific memes from back in the day. That's just, they're lost yeah. forever. Yeah. And that's what I mean with. Memes giving me existential anxiety. Yeah, because he's just like, no one remembers them. Like, you don't have any way to find them now. Yeah. What I, yeah, what really bothers me is that when I was growing up, um, I had a Mac and like AOL. Yeah. And there was this old, um, there was this old, um, programming language or like scripting language called HyperCard. Hmm. Which was, um, I think the only game anyone remembers that was written in HyperCard is Myst. Oh, okay. But like, um, there was when you when AOL was first around, there were just like these file archives that you could up you could upload stuff and other people could download them. Yeah. And like people would make their own like really simple games in HyperCard, and you could download them. Oh. And they would make like all these like, and so there were all these like games I remember downloading. But then, like, the whole archive of them doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. So, like, they're just, like, these games that I'll never find or play again because they don't exist anymore unless, like, someone happened to save them. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I remember there was a bunch of, like, one of the specific categories that seemed like there were hundreds of games was, like, killing Barney games. <laughs> <laughs> And like I said, it was really specific. It was a really simple program language. So it was just like they were just black and white, and you would just like click buttons and it would transition to a new screen. Oh God! What happened to that trend? By the way, speaking of yeah, the category yeah, killing awesome. Barney. They would, like start the Barney theme, and then you like choose your weapon, and kill Barney. I, and that was the whole point of the game. Yeah. I, I've played a kill a kill Barney game on Newgrounds, mm-hmm. or but there were tons of fucking uh, weird. Let's kill Britney Spears. That's one I remember. Yeah. Um. I mean, just generally anything that had a fan base in the mm-hmm. in the early two thousands was brutally murdered. For the enjoyment yeah. of nine-year-old kids, mm-hmm. and that just doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, I I wonder what ha- I wonder why. Like, do we have? 
I mean, because that's... I mean, we're not... They, we, we all have some sort of bloodlust in us, right? I mean, most of us channel that through video games. You get to shoot someone. Fucking wreck, dude. Now I don't have to shoot someone in real life. It's not that simple. <laughs> you know, it's not... <laughs> I don't want to sound like a unhinged psychopath, but maybe I am. That's not the point, though. The point is, where, where are these games? Because see, you can't just have, they can't just have quit making them, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just they've transitioned into mods for for other video games but that does not explain why why i cannot seem to find the serial killer mod for stardew valley i mean what's the what the fuck is the problem some some chick some fucker i don't know someone fucking programs uh a mod that makes everyone jack off like all the time. Is it like jerk off schedule mod <laughs> for it's it's called the jerk off schedule mod for Stardew Valley. Right. Um and it, it exists. It's a real thing that exists. But I don't know. Am I alone in thinking that that is creepier than a serial killer mod? Uh, yeah, I mean... Alright. Yeah. I mean, is it so weird to just want to... want there to be a serial killer mod for Stardew Valley? Nah. Right, because it's like... Why do these people deserve to be happy? They don't. They don't. They des they deserve to feel the pain that I feel every day. And but moving on to the next topic, we got a question from Pyok here. Real talk: Did the frog unicycle SDA in in incident really happen? Did what? Uh, the frog unicycle SDA incident. Okay, so, um, I don't know, there was a post on SRG, like, oh, yeah. three years ago, maybe, someone was like, this, this, uh, um, I don't, know, I don't have the screenshot on my computer, but apparently you had is your SDA submission was just um a RAR file filled with a picture of a frog on a unicycle copied for like yeah a, a million times D did you actually do that well it wasn't a unicycle it was a penny farthing bicycle Okay, well, that's, uh... But... Because <laughs> that's what's relevant, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but you did actually submit that. Mm -hmm. That's... Ah, yeah. I mean, I never doubted it for a second, but it's, it's cool to have it confirmation now all we gotta learn if, is if fucking Slayer actually got threatened by Mike Uyama or what happened oh yeah cause that's like I mean I'd believe I believe Slayer but it's, it's still that PM is fucked up oh Slayer's was fake alright well, that's a... Uh, <laughs> that's actually really cool to hear. Because... <laughs> he did... Mike Uyama did not come off as sympathetic in that... Fake.
But fuck, let's not delve into speedrunning drama. I don't want to plunge into that pool. We dipped our feet enough as it is. Um. Yeah, I guess we're still on the this month month in this month in memes. Um. But did you? <laughs> Did you see a, that alien meme from Pull? Oh yeah, and they're saying like, oh my threads are getting deleted, like the FBI yeah. is getting involved, yeah. I saw that. I, I'm really enjoying that meme so far. It's starting to okay. peter out, and it's like, it's over. But... The... There was a... It was a magic moment when everyone decided to fake their own alien picture yeah. I saw the one that was just like a copy pasted like xenomorph in the desert <laughs> yeah <laughs> that one's good uh but there were so many pictures and okay so this is this is people on on X they oh, should oh, be yeah. aware of some of these pictures right because I, I bet I've seen, like, I don't know, I've seen probably most of the alien hoaxes online. Because I love looking at alien pictures. Aliens are cool. I don't, I don't fucking believe these pictures as p photographic proof. Because I'm not a, you know, uh, I'm not actually an unhinged psychopath. I just like to joke about it. But I do want other people to feel my pain, the pain that I experience every single day. And I want them to burn just like I have. Anyways, move on, on to the next topic. Um, I feel like we're sort of um, exhausted all we can do about these memes. I mean, let's be honest. Memes don't stay fresh for too long. They kind of. I wanna. I wanna do a quick death or die lightning round. This is what I call it. So this is the. This is sort of my. This is my gimmick. This is what I like to refer to. So each contestant gets five seconds to answer the question, and I think it should probably be be enough. This is just fast. X or Y death or die questions we right. got here so we got let's let's start off cats or dogs cats anime or manga manga boobs or butt uh boobs feet or pits anime feet dragons or dinosaurs oh shit uh dinosaurs good call star wars or star trek uh, Star Trek. Pizza or burger? Pizza. Terminator 1 or 2? Two? 2. Oh, I'm so sorry. That should have been Terminator 1. Uh, yeah, uh, but you did, you did good. Other than that, I mean, the boobs or butt question, that's the subjective one. And you, since you only got one incorrect, I mean, that's that puts you on the top list of all my contestants so far. Um, cool. It actually puts you number one. Cool. Uh, so, that's... Congratulations, Dugong, uh, for becoming the reigning champion of Death or Die lightning rounds. Um... Yeah, how do you feel about it? Very good. Was there any any questions in particular you felt were were tricky and you had to? Uh, I don't know. Boobs or butts? Yeah, I felt I felt yeah I I heard you think hard on that one. Yeah. 
But yeah, uh, I think. Also, dragons and dinosaurs. Cause I didn't want to disappoint you. Did you actually want to answer dragons? Not really. I don't know. No, I think dinosaurs after all. All right, that's cool. I mean, I'm fine with like you know, I I can. I I can respect opposition or whatever. Like you know, I don't have every, not no, everyone has to agree with me. You can notice I. I feel extremely strongly about Terminator 1 being the better movie than Terminator 2. Yeah. But, it, I mean, I'm not going to hold that against you still. Yeah, I said better nostalgia for the second one, but maybe... Yeah, I, I can feel you on that one. I think maybe... Maybe I have the same thing, except my nostalgia is more to, to the first one. Yeah. Because I remember I was like nine or ten or something and i was at my friend's house and that one just came on tv and i watched it and i was like this is a fucking nightmare yeah but like in a good way you know yeah. uh and not a lot of movies before or since then has made me feel in a similar even even come close to the same amount of tension and because the thing about Terminator 1 is it sort of combines the tension of being hunted with the fear of the unknown and the fear of the future because when even when they're not being hunted by the Terminator mm -hmm. what they're doing is they're worrying about the future and yeah. and I think I feel like that adds a whole new element to it because they're never safe because even if they defeat the Terminator, maybe it's, there's still gonna be a Judgment Day and shit like that. So, whoa, whoa. that really made me think. <laughs> Speaking of memes, but. Yeah, I would like to thank you a lot for having for you know coming on the show. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me, Lurk. I feel like we should probably dedicate this episode in particular to Bill Paxton, who oh, yeah. passed away last night. Um. Uh, Kind of a downer note to end the show on, but it is it was a downer note in real life too, so uh rest in peace, Bill Paxton. One sure. of the better one of the better Bills. Let's say l license to Bill is maybe a bit better. Skeleton Bill is way worse. Like, not even close. Oh, no. But, yeah. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. I hope I didn't talk too much over you. No, it's okay. It, I have a tendency to not shut up once I start talking. No, I'm cool with that. That's cool. But yeah, yeah, good show too, fuck. Yeah, excellent. Wait, no, fuck, this is still, this is still on air. But, uh, goodbye everyone, thanks for watching, see you next time. Life Bye. from 